Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I'm gonna be spilling all the tea for y'all, like all the tea. So stay tuned. Okay, so let's dive right into it. Um, so as some of you might know, I actually work for Forever 21, the retail company. Um, and I know a lot of people have questions about what's going on. Are they going bankrupt? Are stores closing down? What is their last day? Are they having a blowout sale? What is happening? I'm here to clear up all of that for you, honey. All of it, okay? I'll take it all the way back to um, 2019, maybe like in like March. Um, I had a co-worker who came along who came along and she said that, oh, um, hey, I've been researching first 21 stuff and it's saying that we're going bankrupt and this and that and the third. And we hadn't heard about this anywhere else. I heard this is my first time hearing about this was from her. She had was online reading and, and, and read these things. That we were going bankrupt and we were cutting costs and they were doing all ditch efforts to not have to close stores, whatever. And she was like, oh, that's kind of concerning. Da, da, da. That was probably like in March, April. So, fast forward, I think around the time that I was like in transition of moving here, um, that's when the post in the shade room was released that first one was going to make growth and then we were, they were closing. So, it is true. It's true that first 21 filed for bankruptcy. But, they are facing a lot of lawsuits. So that's the main issue. Because, I mean, a lot of people were, I know a lot of people were very confused just because of the fact that, you know, everyone shops at Forever 21. Literally, everybody shops at Forever 21, I know. Um, so, I know a lot of people were confused, like, what, they're going to business, like, what, somebody not doing the accounts right, okay. Um, but that's what I, I know for one huge thing was, like, the whole Air Down Grande scandal kind of thing. She was supposed to perform for them at some event. She said she couldn't do it, so they kind of had a stand-in come in, you know what I'm saying, which is kind of... That is terrible, but so they got sued by Ariana Grande. Um, if that allegedly, 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 that's what happened. Let me just go ahead and throw that in there. Allegedly, so like okay, like Willie Williams, allegedly. Okay, so so allegedly they got sued by Ariana Grande, and it was like a ten to fifteen million dollar lawsuit for a copyright infringement, and not only from her but like other people, you know, whatever. So that was a huge thing, and I guess that took them back a lot. Because, you know, Forever 21 is constantly opening up new stores. Um, while I've been at the company alone, I know they opened up two new, two new locations in Indiana. Um, and I actually, since I've been out here, they opened up an, another location out here as well. So they're constantly opening up new stores. Um, so that, it's not that people don't shop there. Yes, people don't, you know, get the foot traffic. Like, you know, people just click online easily. But, of course, we don't get as much foot traffic in the stores because of online shoppers uh, and online shopping and that whole huge market. But, the huge question is, drum roll please. <laughs> no, not all the stores are closing. So, the stores that have already closed, the stores that are going to close have already closed. I know that for some of you in Indiana, y'all already know that, you know, the stores closed, yada yada. But, down here in Georgia, None of the locations in Georgia closed. Not one location closed. So we still have people every day asking us, oh, when is y'all last day? Oh, what time y'all closed? Oh, what's y'all close out sale? Oh, yeah, the whole store not 50% off? Still, to this day, and I'm not even here, I was off today, but still, people probably in there today calling up to the store like, when y'all closing? What's y'all going out of business sales? So I just thought, you know, I should make this video to clear things up a bit. Some stores did go, did already close. Like I said before, um, those those stores had huge blowout sales, and this was like I think they all closed like the first, or second, or third of the year. Um, so yeah, those stores that closed closed literally January first or January second or January third or whatever, what have you. Um, they had, as I believe, like ninety percent off sales and stuff like that. Um, I did go to one of the closing stores um, and got me some deals, honey. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys some things today that I got while, you know, everything, the, the, all the all the deals. And, and some of this is from closeout sale deals. Some of this is just from me shopping in general because all the stores had deals. A huge, everything was 50% off sale. It was, a, it was all, so many sales going on. So this is some of the stuff that I got. I just want to show you guys. I got a lot of stuff. So, and some of this I'm going to sell. I'm gonna probably going to put on my Poshmark so you guys get a watch for that. First thing I'm going to show is this pink coat. 
It's like a little fufu, fufu coat. And as you can see, this coat was originally $47.90, so $48. And I guess how much I got this coat for. I got this here pretty coat, little nice little mink jacket. I got it for $4.80. $4.80. So I got a coat that was originally $48 for $4.80. Unbeatable. And I think this is, I'm going to put this on my Poshmark. I don't think I'm going to keep this coat just because it's a little small for me. It's a little snug and, you know, I might, and I have other, like, coats. You know, I, I got, it's, it don't get hot enough. It don't get cold enough in Atlanta for, you know, these kind of coats. So, um, other than that one, I also got this jacket, this cute, cute jacket. And it has a hood on it. So originally this jacket was $42.90 and I got it for $5. And it's cute, like a periwinkle kind of color. It's nice. And then, whew, big cool. I got this nice plush jacket. I love this jacket, y'all. I love this jacket so much. <laughs> Let me stop being silly. Okay. Um, I got this jacket. This is like one of those, like, Kim, Kim K, Kanye West. Like, you could wear this with a hoodie. You know what I'm saying? Kind of jacket. if I get any takers but I kind of want to keep this one I, I haven't really worn it anywhere I think I, I haven't worn it at all I wore it like out the house one day and it like for like 30 minutes so but those other two I haven't worn at all so um let's see what else okay so next I have this really cute like frilly shirt it's cute shirt before I left here I got this shirt just what I was like just like you know everything in the store is 50% off I got it at the store here it's really cute it has like little frillies at the end so I got it for half off um I'll show you guys this one I don't have any pictures in it but it's really cute shirt one it's actually very cropped but it's very cute it's very like peasanty that whole style and then I got this here shirt <laughs> so cute and if y'all know me y'all know I love pearls like I love pearls y'all like I love pearls so anything that has pearls on it I'm game and I need more graphic tees so I got that one and then this shirt look at this cutie right here this shirt is so cute on I have to show you guys it's very cropped as well but this is like so cute and I wore this I wore this shirt at a Christmas Eve party and I actually didn't vlog that night during my when I was vlogging while I was home but I wore this to the Christmas Eve party that I talked about going to in that um this is like so cute and then I got this here skirt which I have been dying when I tell y'all I have been dying I have been dying for a silk skirt, y'all. And I bought two other silk skirts or like cute little long flowy skirts like this. And they just don't fit right. Like I got one that is like ruffled up and it cuts. And it's just like, I, it, that thing is so tight. I'm scared to wear it anywhere. I just know it's going to rip. Like literally, I just know it's going to rip. So I haven't, <laughs> literally I haven't worn it. I don't know why I got the small because y'all, my booty is not a small anymore. It's sad. It's not sad. <laughs> Trying to get slim thick out here. <laughs> but anyways, so um I got this cute little skirt. I actually have already worn this before. I got this skirt for eight dollars, I wanna say six dollars, six dollars or eight dollars. 
And then this skirt I got, which is a cute little silky thing, cute little silky skirt. I got this skirt for also $8. So, eight bucks, y'all, take you a long way. So, that's that one. And then these, some cute little flare jeans. They're flare at the bottom. And look how cute that detail is. Super cute detail. And they're so cute. These are so long on, but it's, they're so cute on. And they actually drag the floor, but it's so cute. You don't even care. And these are a size 27. Um, for anyone who doesn't know how Forever 21 pant sizes run, um, basically it's just whatever your size is plus 21. So I use, I'm a size 6. Yeah, I'm a size 6 now. My booty is size 6, y'all. So if I add 21 to 6, this is 27. So that's what size I wear in pants. For anyone watching that might want to, you know, buy me something. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Um, so yeah, that's that. So yeah, that's what I got um, during the blowout sale. It was a lot of more stuff that I got. I also got other things for, obviously, my family. And, but yes, yeah, so I'm glad that we had this time to clear up everything and the whole scandal with Forever 21. Aren't we just so glad? Because I'm so glad. Um, hopefully you guys can watch this and just, you know, feel like, oh, someone answered what I was asking. I hope I answered it. So basically, all in all, Forever 21 did indeed file for bankruptcy, but only because they had lawsuits against them that they had to pay out. If you're Forever 21 that you, are, that you currently shop at, if it hasn't closed by now, it's not closing, honey. I mean, unless it does, I don't know. <laughs> if you just shopped at Forever 21 yesterday, it you're fine. That one is safe. And honestly, the majority of the stores did stay open. Majority of the stores did stay open. So go ahead, if you aren't subscribed to my channel now, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, I'm going to have the links to my Poshmark and some other stuff. Um, down below if you want to check it out and buy some of these items um, just support me y'all like I'm trying out here I'm trying to do my thing I'm trying to work I'm, I'm, I'm doing some things honey and we I got a lot of content a lot of content ready to, to be rolled out for you guys so subscribe you know subscribe so you can be up to date with everything Cause I, I'm ready okay I'm, I'm ready and I'm coming honey so I hope y'all ready okay alright have a blessed one y'all yes I just feel like a lot of this footage I'm not gonna be able to use. <laughs> okay, anyways. So I feel like I can start this all over again. Like I just feel like I, I gotta start over. Like what am I talking about? Uh, my foundation looks so good right now, bro. Like this is my perfect shade. Okay, anyways, period. Let's get let's get back together. <laughs> so I need to chill. I I'm chilling. I need to chill. Yes. So I'm here to spill all the tea for you guys. <laughs> I cannot get it together. Like I cannot pull it together right now. Like I'm having this is the episode. I'm having an episode. Someone call a doctor. <laughs> Freak, freaking frack. I forgot what my place was, where I was at in my story. Okay, so anyways. Anyways, son. Anyways, son. Anyways, son. Anyways, son. Anyways, your mother. Your mother. <laughs> okay, bro. I'm. I'm gonna just turn this off. <laughs>